Hi, I'm Doug Laporte, Design Manager for Timing Products at Linear Technology. Today I'm going to talk about two exciting new frequency synthesis products. As modern RF communication designers work to squeeze increasingly more data into the available bandwidth, low phase noise signal sources assume an important place in the system design. To address this need, Linear Technology developed the LTC6945 and LTC6946 integer in phase lock loop, or PLL, frequency synthesizers. While the part is primarily aimed at driving the LO ports of mixers and modulators, these parts can also provide a low jitter sample clock for high speed A to D and D to A converters. Let's take a look at these parts. Both the LTC6945 and 6946 deliver a low phase noise integer end PL core that not only has a low in-band noise floor, but also has a 1 over F noise corner well below a kilohertz, about two orders of magnitude lower than any competing part. Additionally, these parts deliver exceptionally low, barely measurable spurious levels. The LTC6945 contains this low noise PLL core and provides an input for an external VCO operating up to 6 gigahertz. The LTC6946 is a fully integrated frequency synthesizer combining low noise PLL core with an industry leading low phase noise VCO. The LTC6946 comes in three versions, each with a wide band integrated VCO covering a different frequency range. Now let's take a look inside the parts. Here's the block diagram for the LTC6946. The 6945 is identical except the low noise amplifier replaces the on-chip VCO. Key circuit blocks contributing to the PLL core's low phase noise and low 1 or F corner are the frequency dividers, the phase frequency detector operating up to 100 MHz, and most importantly, the low noise charge pump. The charge pump's current level is programmable through the serial port for up to 11 milliamps. This high current setting minimizes thermal noise contributions from the loop's compensation components. Additionally, the reference input on these parts features a proprietary noise limiting circuit that delivers optimal phase noise performance even with low frequency, low slewing sine wave signals. Like many fully integrated synthesizers, the VCO contains multiple bands and an automatic band select circuit that chooses the optimal frequency band for each configuration. Unlike many other parts, the LTC6946's VCO never needs recalibration as the temperature changes, ever. Set it once and you're done. While the VCO covers a broad frequency range, the output divider extends this frequency coverage greatly. Programmable to any integer from 1 to 6, the output duty cycle is always 50%. The table here illustrates that with the divider, the output frequency covers from 374 MHz up to 5.744 GHz. To facilitate the use of these parts, Linear Technology has also developed the PLL Wizard CAD tool to quickly and accurately design synthesizers to meet any requirements. Let's take a look at the PLL Wizard now. PLL Wizard is a CAD tool for designing synthesizers with the LTC6945 and 6946. The program also directly controls a demo board for part evaluation. I've initialized the PLL Wizard software and configured it with my synthesizer requirements. The program has three tabs at the top. The Registers tab allows for direct entry of serial port registers that control the part's configuration with the ability to read and write register values individually or all at once. The System tab has the same register control facility in a more friendly block diagram form. Finally, the Loop Design tab lets you enter design information and goals, determines the optimum loop settings, designs the compensation network, and finally calculates the expected performance. The design that I'm going to run through here is for a 5.7 GHz output frequency with a 10 MHz step size derived from a 100 MHz reference oscillator. I've entered the design parameters here and I'll initially set the loop bandwidth at 10 kHz. Knowing the reference frequency and the desired output frequency is not enough to optimize the design for low phase noise. The phase noise of the reference and VCO must also be known and specified. For the LTC6946 parts, the PLL wizard already has the necessary VCO parameters and noise data. Earlier, I entered the correct reference noise data here. Once all the basic data is entered, click on the Compute Parameters button, which pops up a dialog box. 
The PLL Wizard has evaluated all the design inputs and has determined that an 81 kilohertz loop bandwidth is optimal for low noise performance. I'll now change the loop bandwidth from 10 kilohertz to 81 kilohertz. Clicking on the design filter button sets the charge pump current and loop compensation component values. Plotting the open loop Bode response shows nearly 60 degrees of phase margin, very stable. Next, Plot the total noise. The red trace is the reference phase noise, as entered earlier. The blue trace is the VCO's phase noise. The pink trace is the reference multiplied by the loop gain. And finally, the black trace is the simulated total output phase noise. Additional noise statistics, such as jitter, are listed in the upper right-hand corner of the plot. Here, the result is 227 femtoseconds RMS of jitter over the plot's 100 hertz to 10 megahertz bandwidth. Once a design is settled on, save the settings for use later in controlling the part through a demo board. This result's all good and fine, but how does it compare with reality? To find out, let's go to the lab. Here in the lab, I have an LTC 6946-3 demo board with the correct loop compensation components installed. The PLL wizard controls the demo board through this computer here. I've configured the part's differential outputs as two single-ended outputs, with one output going to the phase noise analyzer, the other one going up here to the spectrum analyzer. I've loaded the design settings file created earlier into the PLL wizard, clicked on the Write All button to transfer all the register settings into the 6946-3. The LED on the demo board is lit, indicating that the loop is locked. So, how does the signal look? Looking up at the spectrum analyzer, the signal looks nice and clean, with barely a hint, I would say no spurious signals available at all. The phase noise analyzer closely matches the PLL wizard simulation to within a dB or two. In short, there are no surprises. As you can see, the LTC 6945 and LTC 6946 provide frequency synthesis solutions with the low phase noise and low spurious levels required for today's high performance RF systems. The synthesizers together with the PLL Wizard CAD tool and the demo boards enable system designers to meet their signal generation requirements quickly with no surprises. For additional information on these products, please visit our website at www.linear.com where you'll find data sheets for these parts as well as the free PLL Wizard CAD tool that will get you up and running instantly. Thank you for watching.